I got a haircut. That's it. That's the post. So recently I played a game called Madden, Madden, what the fuck? So recently I played a game called Fight Night Champions and it's a good game except for the final boss. Fight Night is basically a boxing game that came out in 2011 I think on the Xbox 360 and PS4, or PS3, sorry, not PS4, PS3. And it's your run of the mill boxing game from what I hear, except it has a story mode. And the story mode's pretty cool. It's it's like your run of the mill story mode for, as a, for a boxing game, you know, it's nothing too deep. I just feel like it goes by too quick. Not enough time to marinate with the characters, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but this isn't a review on the game, all right? I'm gonna tell you, why I hate the last boss guy. <laughs> You're this guy named Andre Bishop, right? And well, you box your way through the championships as a heavyweight boxer. And the champion guy is Isaac Frost. That name will be ingrained into my brain for a while. What did I just say? Well, the story is basically like Rocky Three when he has to fight Mr. T. And no, wait, when he has, when he has to fight Dragovich, Drago in Rocky IV. So he's like Rocky IV. So when you finally get to fight Isaac Frost, spoilers, I should have said spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the beginning, spoilers. It's like a 10 year old game by now. If you haven't played it, you're probably not gonna play it. <laughs> so when you get to fight Isaac Frost, it's like F Rocky fighting Dragovich. It's like Rocky fighting Mr. T. It's like Goku fighting Frieza. It's like it man fighting all his other last villains. It's like a nightmare is what it is. When I tell you I've never felt so aggravated over a video game, I would, ooh, I wanted to slam this controller in that TV. I'm sorry TV, but you would have died. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, I'm an adult, so I kept myself calm and cool and collected. Something not many adults can do. But as I calmed myself and stopped blindly trying to punch the dude in the face, I came up with a strategy. You see, I listened to my coach. That's it. There's checkpoints within that match. There's like three checkpoints. And within those checkpoints, your, your coach is like, like the first checkpoint, you have to survive. That's all he tells you. So you got, you just got to keep running away from the dude. You can't knock him down. Not until the end, at least. So the best thing you could do is just run away and avoid his hits. Only problem with that is he'll, he, I don't know. Like this guy is cheating. Like EA made this guy just all the hacks. Cause you try to back away, he's right there up on you. He will corner you to the ropes and will just wail on you. And if you get tapped just once by one of his hits, you're down. You're down and you and you, and you try to get back up. But let me tell you, you should just restart the game <laughs> right then and there when you're down because you're gonna get down a lot and it's gonna get harder for you to get back up when you're down. So the first two rounds, you just gotta survive. Just that's it, survive. And if you manage to do that, in the second checkpoint, you have to hit him with uh, body blows. You have to hit him in the body like 75 times over the course of three rounds, but 75 times you gotta hit the dude <laughs> while he's like wailing on you like a freaking truck. Then after the third one, like narratively speaking, you get cut in the eye. You're supposed to avoid him again. So you can't let him hit you in the face. The cool thing about that is he he gets tired, so he's he's gonna stop with like hitting you so so hard. Then afterwards, that's when the beauty happens because he's all tired. Your coach gives you a pep talk saying you're the man, you're gonna be the champ, you got energy, he's tired, beat his ass. And you do. It doesn't last that long, but you do. Took me three hours to do that. Three hours of just running away, getting down, restarting the match, getting down, restarting the match, getting down, restarting the match. But that's okay. Because at the end of the day, I won. There were so many times I wanted to quit, but I didn't. You know why? Because <laughs> in that last video I did, my New Year's resolution, 
whatever I start, I need to finish. Even in a video game. It's silly, I know, but like, I just wanted to beat it so I could just put it behind me. Fun fact, a lot of people did not finish this game because of that mother. I saw a video on like the last fight. It was like a walkthrough, a playthrough. And like I just wanted to see if it was really that hard or if I really sucked, you know? But I was going through the comments and surprisingly, I was not the only one who felt that way. A lot of people thought that guy was like hard to beat for no reason. And a lot of people did not complete that game. And I, I found that very interesting. <laughs> that level reminded me of my childhood because it's, a lot of a lot of the games I played when I was a kid, they would have a, a level that I just could not beat for the life of me. Like the two games that come to mind are Shark Tale and Shrek 2. I think that's the beauty of these games because the, the more you fail, try, try again. Or what is, how does that saying go? Yeah, motherfucker! I beat him! I beat him! Yes! Yes! Fuck you!